So the sun's out, pools are open, ours is almost open, and it's summer. It's vacations, it's barbecues, it's barbecues, pools, and sunshine. But it means one thing. It means slow sales, right? We all know summer slowdown. Summer slowdown for eBay, for Amazon, for everything e-commerce. Why? Well, because of all of those things. People are on vacation, people are in their swimming pools, people are barbecuing, people are at the beach, people are not on eBay, Amazon, and Poshmark buying stuff. Now, there are a few ways to counteract summer slowdown, and we're gonna talk about it in just a minute. I'm gonna go back inside because it is 100 degrees today in Florida, if you haven't noticed, I'm sweating. 100 degrees already on June, what's today, June 2nd, June 3rd, today's June 3rd, 100 degrees, are you kidding me? We're gonna talk about how to beat summer slowdown. I can't tell you how to beat the heat except getting in a pool, but I can tell you how to beat slow sales. Let's do it. Everything changes. Okay, so the fact of the matter is, during the summer, things are slow. There's just no way around it, but there are a few things you can do to try to offset the drop in sales. We're gonna talk about a couple of them. I've got three or four of them here on my phone. I wanna go over them with you guys, and I wanna talk about the best way to try to offset people being at the beach, being out of town, being on vacation, on road trips, and RVs, on planes, on trains, on buses, and out at their pool, and their barbecue, rather than being on their computer shopping for whatever it is you have for sale on your store, on your closet, on whatever you have. All right, so I'm gonna start off with an obvious answer, which is just list more items. If you list more, you always sell more, even when it's slower. If you're listing 100 items a week, normally, and you're selling 10 items a week, you know if you list 200 items, you should sell 20 items a week, but during summer slowdown, you should probably sell like 15. So you're still gonna sell more in the long run, you just have to get more up. That's an obvious answer, everyone's gonna roll their eyes, list more, list more, it's just the way it works. But also, listing seasonally, a acceptable appropriate items by that I mean summer items bathing suits bikinis board shorts surfboards boogie boards pool equipment pool toys camping a lot of people go camping in the summer camping equipment outdoor equipment um, obviously all of your summer clothing anything like shorts and jean shorts and tank tops and things people will wear out in hot weather um, it's a hundred degrees here people in Florida are looking for stuff like crazy um, handheld electronics for the road. Kids go on planes, trains, they go on vacations with their family. They might have a three or four hour flight. They might have a you know five or six hour road trip. Uh, anything they can play with, you know, portable DVDs in the car, or iPads, or tablets, or 3DSs, any of that stuff for, um, you know, road trips. Think uh, luggage racks, luggage on top, luggage for the planes. If you can find some used stuff, you know, it's a pain to ship, but you can make some money on it. If you can buy something for, you know, $10, $15, a used piece of Samsonite luggage that's nice, pop it up on eBay for 99 bucks, sell it, you make yourself $70, $80, less fees and shipping, you still make 50 bucks. Not a bad way to do business. Golf is huge in the summer. I know it's hot, but it's huge. Anything golf related is really good. So tons of items that are seasonally appropriate for the summer time is great. Now, on the flip side, you should be able to stock up on winter goods like boots, jackets, coats, hats, anything that's winter gear, really, really cheap right now. Set it aside if you have the capital, set it to the side and then you'll have really cheap inventory when the winter comes along. So that's your flip side. That won't help you with sales now, but it's gonna help you with sales later to offset some of the slow sales that you do now. Remember, your year is not defined by one, two, or three months. June, July, and August do not define you. If you do, if your goal is to do $5,000 a month in sales, to do 60,000 in the year, and you only do two or 3,000 a month in June, July, and August, but you're doing 10,000 in November, December, then who cares? It all evens out. You just have to learn how to budget and, and float the money through the bad months into the good months um, a little better. That's money management. Okay, running more sales. Everyone knows about summertime sizzle sale at Honda, blah, blah, blah. Run sales. Run sales. Schedule them week in and week out. Do not let your items go off sale, even if it's just a 5% off every single day. And then, you know, you go 4th of July weekend, our 5% sale is 50% off everything. Whatever you have to do to run sales to where you can still be profitable, but keep luring people back into your uh, store. 
Promote higher, it goes along with the higher sales. If you'd rather do promoting higher, that's better. The reason I like doing bigger sales markdowns than I do higher promoted is this. The customer sees the sale. They see 20% off, 30% off, 40%. They don't see that you've promoted it 5% versus 20% and they don't get the savings. eBay makes more money, but on the sales side, the customer is saving more money. So I like the markdown better than the promoted. Again, I'm running promoted at 2% right now. Um, I did give trending a try for like a week and it didn't really change much. So. Uh, take it for what it's worth. Some people love that. Um, this is one that's not going to help you with your sales necessarily again also, but this is helpful for later down the road. Again, the long-term investment. Take your vacation now. Don't wait and take a winter vacation. If you do the holiday thing, fantastic, but take a vacation when everyone else is on vacation. No one's working and no one's getting uh, you know, paid and making money right now and no one's spending money right now. Not on this kind of stuff. Not as much as they normally do. So why waste your time trying to sell stuff as much as possible, putting your all into it when it's not gonna pay off as much as it should anyways, and you've gotta take a vacation, you should take a vacation, take it when you can, and this is the best time. Now, I'm not saying don't work and don't put everything into it that you can during the summer, but one of those weeks should be your vacation, so keep that in mind. Um, so if we recap it, it's obviously list more, list appropriate stuff, um, run more sales, promote stuff, take your vacation when everybody else is taking it so you can get it out of the way, and stock up on cheap winter uh, equipment, winter items, winter outdoor, winter clothing, winter boots, shoes, coats, jackets, anything you can think of winter. Cheap, cheap, cheap if you have the inventory. Even look for pallets if you're a pallet buyer. Winter stuff for pallets, out of season items, push them to the side, get them you know, for a thousand bucks for a pallet that normally might cost 2,000 bucks. Now you got it for half price. Now when you come back and you list it all in winter, you'll sell more of it. Also, as the summer comes to a close, my last tip, make sure you're paying attention for your back to school days. Get some back to school items, some shoes, some back to school merchandise that people will need for August. I think the kids all go back. They're all off July into August. Most of them go back, correct me if I'm wrong, the last week of August, first week of September, somewhere in that two to three week neighborhood, say the 20th of August through the 10th of September, somewhere in that, that range. So back to school, also something to think about as the summer progresses. It is June, a um, couple days into June, and uh, excited, can't wait. We got Vegas in July, so make sure if you're there, you meet up with us. If you haven't decided to go to Vegas yet, I think the tickets are sold out, I think they have been. Uh, still come to Vegas, still hang out, still come to the hotel, the pool, the, the meet up on Monday night, come to the party, you can get tickets for that for 99 bucks, the open bar, open food, bowling party, everything's gonna be awesome. Uh, so if you can make it to Vegas or you're close enough, please try to. Uh, July. I'll be there July 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, uh, 27. So we'll be there for an entire week, Sunday through Sunday, I believe. And um, come out, come hang out. The meetup's Monday night and uh, Tuesday, Cabana, Thursday night party. So hopefully we see you there. And if you're already going to eBay Open, I can't wait to meet you. And uh, we'll see you in Las Vegas. Have a wonderful afternoon, everybody. It's Monday, it's June 3rd, and I will see you guys tomorrow on Tuesday, June 4th. Good night, y'all.